Really, whether you need it or not, it's a virtual medicine cabinet in your tap water if you live in many, many areas across the country. There's a scary new report out today. The Associated Press did a, a big amount of research on this, and the findings show that there were traces of prescription drugs in the water supply used by 41 million Americans in some of the biggest cities in the U.S. The list includes over-the-counter pain medication, mood stabilizers, even hormones. CNN's Elizabeth Cohen joins us now for from the medical update desk in Atlanta. First, uh, explain where they found it and what it is that they found, Elizabeth. Well, the Associated Press, Karen, they spent five months investigating this, and they looked at various municipal water supplies. Not all of them f keep track of whether or not there are pharmaceuticals, but the ones that do, they all had traces of various medicines. And I'm going to give you a list. This will give you some idea of the kinds of things that they found. For example, in Atlanta, where I am right now, they found that the water contained traces of antibiotics blood pressure drugs, in Cincinnati, cholesterol drugs, they found a trace of one of those, and estrogen that women sometimes take for medicinal reasons. And in New York, cities, they found, New York City, they found a trace of a seizure drug and an anti-anxiety drug. Now, to give you sort of the big picture, how many drugs did they find in the drinking water? In Philadelphia, they found trace amounts of 56 different drugs. In New York City, they found traces of 16 drugs, and in northern New Jersey, 13 drugs. Now, the question that right now is on everyone's mind is, how in the world did drugs get into our drinking water? Well, it's, it's, it's not very pretty, and I'll give you the sort of sanitized version. We all take drugs, and our body does not absorb 100% of everything. Some of it passes through our body, ends up in sewage. Sewage is then treated and ends up back in the water system. Of course, the next question is, well, what about bottled water? Well, I, I hate to sound so pessimistic here. Bottled water often just is repackaged tap water. And, and that doesn't help us much at all either. Or even sometimes if it's spring water, it could still possibly contain these trace amounts. Humans basically have an impact everywhere.